Now, the news. Good evening. The vice president of UWM Student Association has been arrested. Brent Johnson is accused of sexual assault and has been placed on administrative leave during the investigation. Panther Vision Stephen Bergenmeister joins us live from the courthouse with details. Steve? Thanks, Asa. There are new developments in the story, and I found out last night at the Student Association meeting that there is an investigation done by the Oversight Rules Committee into the activities of the Student Association president and another Student Association member. Meanwhile, SA Vice President Johnson has resigned, and his arrest came as a shock to the Student Association and to the suspect himself. Easily the most frightening 24 hours of my life. Johnson was arrested a week ago after a student reported he sexually assaulted her. In an interview with Fox 6, Johnson maintains his innocence. I stand by my innocence. I didn't do anything wrong. I, I don't know where these allegations come from. The district attorney did not issue charges, but the university has launched an investigation. We take a very, very strong position that the university will launch an investigation into any report that a crime has occurred or misconduct that has ca caused harm to other people. Johnson says he supports the investigation. I think the university and the student association need to take matters like this with the utmost seriousness. Um, once they find that you know I did nothing wrong, I hopefully will be able to return to the way things were representing the students. Again, as I learned in the SA meeting, Brent Johnson, a junior at UWM, has resigned. Steve, what was the reaction last night after the SA meeting from Johnson's colleagues? I spoke to several student association members about Johnson, and they didn't comment, citing privacy laws and wanting to respect possible victims. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Steve. 